Hey everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to Tea Time. Cheers. Mm. I'm using the Golden Girls mug and I love this one because it has the actual pictures of the Golden Girls. All right. And I am drinking the Celestial Sleepy Time Tea. So today I have some thrift store hauls, well very, like two items from the thrift store. And I have a lot of stuff from Costco and a lot of, a couple of things from um, my trip to Sabatuck and Holland, Michigan. So let's get started. So the first item is this dress. I got it from the thrift store and it's so beautiful. Um, I love the color. I love the top and the middle part looks like that. And it goes down three quarters of my legs. So it covers my knees and I like that kind of dress a lot. And I pair it with um, some dark brown flats and it's really cute. So. This was $5 at the thrift store, and I didn't even try it on. I just know when some things fit. It's a tad bit uh, big on me, but that's okay. Um, and I threw it into the dryer immediately after I got it from the thrift store, because you never know. All right, the second thing I got from the thrift store, and it's the last thing, um, is this amazing bowl. And inside it says, that's all folks. And this what this is a bowl from, um, Marshall, Texas. I think it's like a, it's a brand and I love these bowls. I love this brand. It's a popcorn bowl, and I like it because um, I like to eat popcorn sometimes at night while I'm watching a movie, and this is the perfect bowl. I found something like this at a an antique shop, and it was like, I think it was like $10. It was a little um, vase, and it said um, Debbie's Kitchen, and it, Debbie is my boyfriend's mom's name so he got that for her and so I immediately knew this style and this is only $1.99 so that was a very good buy that's all folks <laughs> all right yeah unfortunately that's the only thing I got from the thrift store um, I haven't been shopping as much on, at the thrift store because I don't know, just not in the mood lately. All right, so let's do Costco and then let's do Sagatuck and Holland. All right, so the first thing on my list, or the first thing here, is this Orchard Valley Harvest Salad Topper. It's um, one and a half pounds of glazed pecans, cranberries, and pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, and this was exactly what I was looking for. I was going to get like a separate bag for each item, but then I found this at um, Costco and I was like, I want to get this. So this was 9 dollars 
and that's not a bad deal at all because I don't need to buy three separate bags of you know pumpkin seeds um, pecans and cranberries and I think this topping is so good on salad and I've been on a salad kick lately so The second thing on my list is the salad. It's an organic Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit. And it has romaine, chicory, broccoli, cauliflower, flatbread strips, red cabbage, feta cheese, and carrots with organic basic basil balsamic vinaigrette. So, if you look at the back, it's more green, and I really like salads that have more green than like a light green lettuce. So that's what I look for when I look for a salad kit. And this was um, $8.49 for 1.2 pounds, and there's only one of these. It doesn't come to pack up two, like a lot of their salads at Costco. Alrighty. Alright, the next items are just vegetables. I got peppers for $6.49. And I don't think it's organic, it's just regular bell peppers. And I love bell peppers raw and grilled. I mean, it's delicious grilled. Um, I also got organic mushrooms. These are the baby Bella mushrooms. I like these more than the white mushrooms, and this was $5.99 for one point one and a half pounds. So I think that's a great deal. And I love mushrooms too. I like them raw in salads, and I love grilling mushrooms. So and I've been on a vegetable and salad kit <laughs> kick. <laughs> Not kit. Um, so yeah, it's just I'm just trying to eat healthier and it feels good to eat healthy, so cheers. All right, next thing on my item on my list is this pineapple. It's a huge pineapple and you can usually um, can tell how ripe a pineapple is by sniffing the bottom. And this one's not that ripe and I like to make it I like to let it go until it's really ripe. My last pineapple, which I just finished today, um, was, um, it got a little moldy at the bottom even. And so I just cut it off and I ate it and it was so good. It was probably the best pineapple I've ever had. Um, and it's just, yeah, I just like to make it, I just like to let it ripen naturally. And yeah, it's delicious. My favorite part is the core. It's just after you've cut the entire pineapple, um, eating the core like, you know, like chicken, it's delicious. <laughs> so that pineapple was $2.99 for one. Um, the next thing is this organic English cucumber. I got three of them for $5.99. It comes in a pack of three um, and I love English cucumbers um, I don't peel them because it's organic and um, the English cucumber peel is actually pretty easy to eat so I like to wash these cut them up and keep them in a container so that I can just easily snack on them so this is a good snack too all right the last fruit <laughs> Or vegetable is this eight and a half pounds of oranges and we just like oranges a lot um, I like to um, just cut them up into like eight slices with the skin on and eat them in the morning um, and it was eight dollars for eight and a half eight pounds so it's about a dollar a pound which I think is a pretty good deal for oranges and I like Costco oranges, like they're delicious. All right, cheers. All 
All right. Actually, it was eight ninety nine for eight pounds, not eight and a half pounds for eight dollars. <laughs> not that it matters or anything, but all right. The last food item is this humongous <laughs> um, peanut butter pretzel, and it's for the boyfriend. He likes pretzels and he likes peanut butter and he said he's had this before with his co-workers so he likes them so I got this for him um, and it's the Kirkland brand I honestly love Kirkland brand things um, I think their quality is really good and um, it's a good price too I forgot the beverage that I got from Costco <laughs> this is really heavy I got the Waterloo Sparkling Water, and there's three flavors. Um, the top one is Pineapple, the second one is Summer Berry, and the third one is Orange Vanilla. And this oh, was a pack of 24 for, I think, um, for $8.99. Okay, so that I think is a pretty good deal. I haven't tried it yet, but... I'm going to try like all the brands. I already tried LaCroix. I tried the Kirkland brand, which I don't like as much. So I'm going to try this one and I'll try the San Pellegrino. And I want to do like a favorites uh, for um, sparkling waters. Because I think it's a really good way to uh, not drink your calories. All right. Another non... So starting with the non-food items. The first thing... <laughs> is this light bulb. Um, it's the Enhance LED 60 watt light bulb and um, it's dimmable and this is just, um, I think it's just white, but we also got the soft white, which is like more of like a yellow color and I really like that color as well. Um, but I got this for like the kitchen and the desk area where we need more light. So, and this was uh, seven ninety seven for a pack of six. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I will say though, I don't think it will last fifteen years. It says it'll last oh no thirteen years, but it doesn't really last <laughs> that long. Um, and this is good for ceiling fans, ceiling fixtures, table lamps, and lanterns. So it's good to have like a white light and it's good to have like a soft light for um, your bed area and your desk area where you want more warm light. All right, let's move on to clothes. All right, so I went a little crazy with the clothes. I usually don't buy a lot of clothes at Costco, but I really needed capri pants for working out. Um, so I found these at Costco and I was like, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a non-black pants that's three quarters of a length with pockets. I mean, we don't, I don't need the pockets, but it's really nice to have pockets. And it's, I got the size large um, and it fits perfectly and it's so comfortable. Like this part doesn't really cinch, I mean it cinches your stomach, but it doesn't like pinch it, you know, so it's uncomfortable. Um, so it's really comfy and I love the color. Um, I love like this kind of pattern too. It's like a light blue and dark blue mix. So th this was $12.99 and I got another color, a green one for the same price. So $12.99 for this one and I also got a large. I was debating between like a medium or large but it's just nice to have like just go size up because it just it's more comfortable that way because these are tight anyway so these are the two colors this one's blue and this one's green and I love them um, and I usually wear it with like a t-shirt like a loose t-shirt I feel like when I wear a tight top with the tight pants it's just showing a little too much and I don't really like that um, so for my boyfriend, I bought some pants and some shirts. So I bought him some blue shorts. It's by Hurley. Um, and these pants were $18.99 each. And this is the green 
version. It's like a grayish green, which I really like. And he likes it. Um, so yeah, each of them was $18.99 and I bought a matching shirt. So I bought like a green shirt to go with the green pants and these were $10.99 each. Um, it's just a plain green t-shirt and actually it's not, um, it's really nice. But the quality is good, it's not too long and the sleeve isn't too long either. You know how like sometimes like men's t-shirts, like some of the sleeves are really long and stuff, it doesn't really fit well. Well, these fit well, and I got the blue one to match with the blue pants, so, so yeah, that's it <laughs> for the clothes at Costco, and I think that's all of my Costco items. Now let's move on to the very exciting part, which is um, the things I got from Sagatuck in Michigan, uh, Sagatuck in Holland in Michigan. And we didn't get too many items, um, and a lot of these are kitchen items. Um, the first things is the t-shirts that my boyfriend got. The first is a t-shirt from The Butler, which is a restaurant that we went to. And this is actually for my boyfriend's brother. It's a tradition to buy t-shirts for each other when whenever someone goes on a trip. So. Um, we went to the butler and um, on my birthday they gave me a half off on my entree so if you go on your birthday they give you a half off so um, and the back looks like that they've been around since 1961 to like 2021 I don't know why it has 2021 on there but um, this is a 60 year celebration t-shirt so yeah this was 20 and it says, it's like Sagatuck, Michigan below. Um, and I feel like guys have a thing for t-shirts. <laughs> okay. And he got this really cool t-shirt. This is actually really good quality. This is very soft. Um, and this is by Canvas, Bella and Canvas. And it's a Bigfoot shirt. And it says Sagatuck, Michigan below. And yeah, it's a nice green shirt. And that was 25. All right. Um, the next thing is this two tablespoon spoon from Uncommon Coffee Roasters. And I love a two tablespoon scoop because you can use this for coffee, um, for almonds. I'm probably gonna use it for my almonds because I have an OXO container of almonds and I just like to, instead of like using my hands, I'm just gonna use this. And it's a good serving size for almonds. But anyway, um, this was $9 and it's really heavy and durable. The only thing I don't like is that you can't really see the two tablespoon or 30 mil measure the, the font, it's kind of coming off, but that's okay. I know it's a two tablespoon. Yeah. And I like to get kitchen items and things that we can use uh, from as souvenirs instead of something that I can display. So that was nine. And then we got some playing cards because we like to play um, a version of Rummy that is really, really fun to play. I'm like, we are addicted. <laughs> I can, we used to play for like, from like 8 p.m. till midnight, like every night for weeks at a time. It's just really fun. And we keep track of our scores in a notebook. So yeah, these are playing cards. I love playing cards. Um, Yeah, so it looks like that, and the card numbers look like that. It's really soft, so when you shuffle, like it's easy to shuffle. So, yeah. I actually want to show you a 
vintage um, pack of playing cards. These are Coca-Cola Nostalgia playing cards. And this was $2.99 at the thrift store. And it's just so cute. Um, my birthday is on the 25th, so I've been saying I want like a Christmas themed birthday, um, Christmas in June. And so we've been using these cards to play <laughs> this month. Um, and I love them. It comes, there's a two pack. And this is the first one. It's Santa Claus with a dog. And it's basically an advertisement for Coke. And the other one is this Santa Claus. And he's just laughing with his Coke. And I love it. And it comes in a tin like this. So it's easy to travel with. And all right, so, and this design is really cute. I got this from Holland, Michigan. Um, the store was started with an F. I think it's like Fritz or Frizz or something, like F-R-I-Z or something like that. Um, and Holland um, has like a Dutch theme going on. So it has like some Dutch items on the card. And I like that a lot. So that was $3.99. Um, this is a an oven mitt that we got from this place called um, the Butler Pantry, and this was $6.99. And we needed another oven mitt. And I just thought this was so cute. Like I love this red checkered fabric. Um, I just think it's adorable and it actually matches this one uh, oven mitt that I got from a thrift store. It's also red on the back so it kind of matches a little bit which I like and I love things with recipes on them. So this is a recipe for gingerbread cookies and yeah um, I just love oven mitts like these and it's just easy to use cute and it's pretty thick actually the other ones were not as thick so i was looking for something that that was a little thicker and i guess you can put your hand in here and use it like that i usually just just use it like this <laughs> so yeah um what else did i get the second to last thing is this pair of earrings I love them. It's a hoop earring and I can actually show it to you. All right, so I really like that the back is long. And so um, when it's long like this, it's less likely to come out of your ear. And it's very simple. It has a green stone um, I don't know what kind of stone it is, but it has like black speckles and it's just really cute. Um, this was 16 and earrings are my go-to uh, souvenir um, item that I like to get at on trips. So earrings and kitchen stuff that I can use. So yeah. And I really like that the hoop is also very small. I have a pair of hoop earrings, um, but then every time I go like this or something, my finger gets stuck in there. And that e pair of earring is very short, so it's not long like in the back like that. So I'm like scared I'm gonna lose that one. So this was from Fat Face from the UK, and I love it. They had really cute necklaces and other earrings too. It was very dainty and very cute and pretty good priced. All right, the last item, which I need to warn you is a knife. So if you're kind of scared of knives and metal and stuff, um, be warned. But it's actually this um, knife. It's a curved knife 
Let me see if I have a name. It's called a Mezzaluna, M-E-Z-Z-A-L-U-N-A -Z -Z -A knife. If you just look up like a curved knife with two handles, um, this will pop up. And I actually saw Nigella Lawson use this um, to cut like, you know, to cut herbs and stuff. And it's just, I've been wanting this for a long time and my boyfriend got it for my birthday. So I'm very excited to use that. And he also got me a um, cooking class in a local olive oil um, place called the Grove Stone. And so we're gonna go to a Greek cook cooking class and that's very exciting because I've always, always wanted to go to a cooking class. Cheers. Ignore the back. <laughs> I don't like um, this kind of writing on mugs, like keep calm and blank. Like I just think it's so cliche, but I like the front. Yeah, I wonder if I can like scratch this off, <laughs> you know. And I don't even like cheesecake because I ate way too many cheesecake when I was um, when I was young. So, so yeah, that is my um, Costco haul, my thrift store haul, including some extra ones with like this one and the playing cards, um, and some Sakatuck and Holland hauls. And let's just finish this tea and have. A little bit of last minute chit chats. Cheers. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about my trip to Sagatuck. Um, it actually took us five hours to get there from Champaign, Illinois, from Urbana, Illinois. And it was because of this, there was like traffic on one of the highways and it was closed. And that took like an extra hour. So without traffic, it would typically take about um, about three and a half to four hours, more towards the four hours part. So um, we left at eight o'clock. No, we left at eight forty-five a.m. in Central Time, which is actually nine forty-five in Michigan. So yeah, we got we went to the Southerner restaurant, which is like a Southern food restaurant. And I got the shrimp and grits there with two sides. I got the biscuits and which was delicious. It came with like a honey butter, which I love. And it came with, um, I chose the, um, the sauteed greens side. And yeah, it's, I just love um, like Southern food. And my partner got, my boyfriend got that catfish sandwich, which was okay. I don't really like catfish, um, but so yeah, we started with that. And then I ate like way too much for lunch that day at like two or three o'clock. It was actually at three o'clock. So I did, we didn't really get hungry or I didn't get hungry until like 9.30 or 10. And then we went to this amazing restaurant called um, Bo Bodie's B-O-W-D-I-E and I always have a hard time remembering Bodie's for some reason I just I always want to say Boudin's which is like this um, it's a chain restaurant in San Francisco where they sell um, clam chowder so yeah so it's Bodie's and we got their wedge salad which was out of the world like they had this bacon which wasn't even like bacon it was like pieces of like meat I think it was like just pork belly like thick cuts of pork belly with like sugar and like it was so good I wanted to go the next day but um we decided to go to the duck alley which is kind of which is a new restaurant um since they opened and on memorial day so they've been open for a month um and at that restaurant we got the pasta there was a lamb uh, ragu orecchiette which was really good that was like the main dish that was like the best we also got this green curry mussel appetizer which was pretty good and it came with fries which was interesting <laughs> 
I feel like fries don't really go well with um, mussels or green curry, but you know, I can never say no to fries. And then we also got steak. But the steak was like not a whole piece of steak like I was expecting. It was like already cut up with the sauce, which I personally thought was kind of bland. Like when I eat steak, um, I want A1 sauce, <laughs> which, you know, I'm not a steak person. I'm not a red meat person. I'm a fish seafood person. So um, yeah, my, my boyfriend was like, it's, to it's totally on me. Do you guys have A1 sauce? And they didn't have A1 sauce, so I didn't really enjoy my steak as much as I should, but that's okay. Um, and the steak came with uh, grilled scallions, which I'm a big onion person. Like, I love grilled onions um, and grilled, not scallions, uh, it was grilled um, shallots. That's what it was. Um, so, yeah, that was delicious. And it came with asparagus, which was okay. Um, and yeah. What else did we do at Sagatuck? So, Sagatuck is actually a more touristy part of that area. And there is a beach called Oval Beach. And that was really nice. I've never been to a lake beach and I will say it's very different from an ocean beach. Um, ocean beaches have a lot of waves and it's um, a bit more, I feel like it's a bit more dangerous because you never know what's in the oh, big ocean, right? There's like sharks and um, I've never seen a shark when I've been to the ocean many times, but um, there could be sharks and other fish and things like that. And in a lake, it's like flat <laughs> and it's so weird like it's so different from an ocean beach so that was something new that I got to experience and we went in the water and we played we brought a beach ball um, that was really fun and yeah it was really nice to see the sunset but the second day on my birthday it rained so um, it's, it was unfortunate, but actually like rain and we had an umbrella in the car. So, um, that was, that was nice. And yeah, we went to a lot of shops at some point. Some of the shops, it just seemed like, like all of them looked kind of similar. Like they were all kind of boutiques and there were a lot of t-shirt sh shops in Sagatuck and I definitely prefer Holland a little bit more like there was an art gallery there um, and they had like cute coffee shops there was a coffee shop called um, the Good Earth Cafe and they're actually selling that cafe at the end of the year uh, by the end of the year so it's kind of sad actually because the cafe, the coffee was so good. I was surprised because I never really expect coffee places to be good for some reason. Like I've had so many, so much bad coffee, but their coffee was actually like, I was like, wait a minute, is this Columbia Street Roastery? <laughs> but yeah, they give you, we just ordered black coffee and they give you the mug and um, you just like fill it up with the, at the pump and um, there's like four different options. There's like the house coffee. There was the um, the sugar cookie coffee, which was funny because I was telling my boyfriend that I wanted the sugar coffee, sugar cookie coffee, and he she, he's like she'll get the sugar cookie. <laughs> so they thought I was gonna get a cookie at 11 in the morning, but yeah, so he was a little confused. And it was free re refills, which was nice. So I got to try the house coffee, which was delicious. All right, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this 
tea time and 